by the time you watch it. Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to the stream! <laughs> yeah, I uh, usually I would start the stream like a few minutes in advance and the timer would count down towards the correct time but I just straight up forgot about it and realized basically just in time, thank god. Alright, so... Uh, fun thing about this, Aviane, I saw your chat message up above. I was actually about to start my study session until I realized that, wait a second, it's Saturday at 13 UTC. Oh no! <laughs> Anyway, I'm about, uh, I'm just about to join the uh, multiplayer server here. Uh, my call sign, as usual, is going to be HSFGCRS, Hotel Sierra, Fox Hotel Sierra, and I'm in. <laughs> right, so 
Hello everyone, uh, I gotta say that there are people, still people joining in, I see uh, two people on the stream right now, there's probably a lot more. So, uh, today it's going to be a flight from uh, this place, which is, let me have a look, LTFD, Lima Tango, Foxtrot Delta, over to LTBJ, Lima Tango, Bravo, Juliet, which is a nearby airport which actually has an iOS. Uh, SX, yes, I am in multiplayer right now. I'm on a runway, so please spawn on an apron to avoid dropping straight onto me. Uh, but yes, I am on multiplayer right now. So, uh, fact of my matter is, you know that you know that I had a, l a little bit of a trouble with the MCDU on the Airbus A320. Now it turns out that the Citation at 10, which is the plane I'm using, actually has an uh, MCDU of sorts. As well, and it's down here, as you can see in the thumbnail image. Uh, it's not as advanced as the one in the A320, but it's pretty fun. And in fact, I actually have a manual <laughs> right over here, which I could use. Uh, the link will be in the description at the end of the stream. Well, if you don't even understand all the scenery, yeah, uh, it will probably take a few minutes, during which I'll be well on away. This will be like a 30-minute flight, so. Might not take too long. Right. Uh, first thing we're going to do is that we can actually do a position in the live station from right here. It's going to load for a minute. And let me check what's going to happen next. Okay. Now we have... These three are always the same. It's not realistic. Uh, we have last position, a reference waypoint, and GPS. These three are always the same. It's not very realistic. Okay, I actually have a flight plan save as to what, exactly what I'm doing right now. But, uh, we're going to do a demo of that later. Right now, because it's funner, I'm actually going to be typing in the flight plan myself. So I am going to Lima, Tango, Bravo, Juliet, punch in the destination, and now we're in the flight plan page. Uh, it's kind of like the A320, there's a few differences here and there in how exactly you do things, but it, it really gave me a lot more confidence. Yeah, LTFD, not too long to download. And this time I'm actually using TerraSync, not custom scenery. Right, so, uh, next thing that's going to happen. Oh, uh, it actually tells me to punch in the arrival, uh, arrival information first. First, let's uh, cheat and check the weather here. Wind is at 270 at 6 not Oh my god, that's not going to be great. That is a wind coming from the west, or if I remember correctly, at 6 knots. It's fine over here, but when I'm down to uh, over here at LTBJ, LTBJ uh, the runway's facing north and south. <laughs> so that's not going to be good for us. Actually, uh, I could have probably tuned the radio, but uh, no. <laughs> Let's say I uh, let's say uh, to keep this thing short and sweet, I'm going to approach on the one on runway one seven, and just deal with the crosswinds as they go. I won't have to do this anyway. It's the autopilot. It will be the autopilot jobs. So we've got sixteen L and sixteen R. Apparently, nav data changed. Uh, uh, which one's the LT, uh, iOS on sixteen L? Arrival uh, star. Oh, by the way, if, by the way, if you're using the Citation Ten from Path Team. Do not use a star. It will cause a freeze. <laughs> anyway, we're going to just use the uh, default approach, which we can use. And now we're done. We're going to also going to set up the departure. Uh, we are on runway... What would this be? This would be runway 23, and here we go, 23. Sets, default, and we're back to the flight plan. Right, uh, so for next things first, I need to do the uh, midway points. Let me check my manual again. Yep, okay. Midway points, we have Dugla and Burgo. Uh, GAD is the route name. Uh, and Dugla and Burgo are actually next, right next to each other, so we don't need anything there. Dugla over here. As you can see, it got plopped down right here. And the A320, there will be a confirmation which you need to plop down here, but it's a citation sent, we don't need to do that. And next we've got Burgo, which is going right here. 
Right. Uh, so now, before we close the flight plan, we want to modify the parameters first. Because if you try to change the parameters afterward, things will not work well. So we have a cruise altitude of level 100. <laughs> That's way too low. Uh, I'm going to do 150. We could go higher, but then we'll be spending much time climbing and descending. Is it free to download? Yes, it's free to download. It's on the... Uh, it, you cannot da use the launcher for this. The launcher has an older one. You need to go to the website for Patent Flight Gear. I might put a link in the description later. Hello, Arush. Work a nightly work fine, but crashed a lot. <laughs> yup, that is... <laughs> that's what nightly's for you. Yeah, it's very free. Uh... I'm not sure why AT, I don't know why A320 is easier than the Citation. Uh, and I think it's equivalent to me. In A320, you do need to remember a lot more values because the Citation does have same defaults built in. And yes, this is the flight gear plane. It, we can do a lot of interesting stuff, just that uh, it's not an event. And the A320, you can do sim brief integration. This one doesn't have that. Right, you have departure and approach speed here, actually. We're not going to mess with these because I don't, because as I said, the Citation 10 has same values and you can use autopilot all the way up and down. Uh, WS 3.0, yes, uh, work, World Scenario 3 is really not up to World Scenario 2 right now. They're still working on it and you don't even get any buildings, not even OSM. Step increment, we don't need to do those and we don't need to do those either. Right, so now we uh, set the cruise altitude. Uh, there's the Frogger's Rage. We don't need to do that. And now we're going to close the flight plan. And to do that, we type the name of our destination, LTBJ. This one's also different between the two. Oh my god, nope. LTB. Oh, by the way, Dell is the backspace. LTBJ. And you put plop it right after. And by the way, this is uh, this is where I see that you can actually save the flight plan preset to a file, but I'm not going to do that. So, uh, I'm going to go back to the next first page, and there we are. I'm going to set this for progress, and we're actually ready to take off. Oh, by the way, in case you want to join our multiplayer, I don't see anybody here at the moment, so. If you are here, please tell me via the chat. It means that things are broken. Uh, seven 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 MCDU. By the way, I I don't know how to use MCDUs for most planes. So, uh, please ask other people who know or search for tutorials online. I'm pretty sure someone in the chat here would know. And <laughs> advertise their own video. Is it good enough that your YouTuber has reviewed the nightly version? I I don't know. I cop I cover some of the features as as a come out. Uh. The standard message is that if you're doing the nightly, things might crash more often than usual. But that's pretty much it. And you also get new features that people test. Oh, Dukla is... <laughs> and I could close the flight plan. Oh my god. Okay, I I uh, I actually have m remembered that this is a valid one. I think it was taking off the other way the other time and it looked like direct. Anyway, it's a good waypoint pretty close to here. There, as you can see, there's no other fix around, so it's a pretty good one. Uh, do you know how we can modify the rudder element elevator sensitivity for some planes? I'm in MP Server 21, I don't see you. Oh my god, that's weird. Weird. Because right now. Oh! Hi, Lizy! Uh, if, if that is you, Rikangu, uh. You were flashing in and out at 1.1. Wow, that's weird. Uh, I've seen this behavior last time too, but I'm not not have no idea why. And a few moments after it worked well. Anyway, for people, uh, for people who's having trouble. Uh, controlling the mouse. In my release, there is this menu over here where you can just pull down this flight control sensitivity and uh, make it a little bit less responsive and probably easier for you. But 
I will say though that I'm not sure if this exists on your release also. And yeah, 2020.4 or the next release, it will it will come out when it's ready, which might what might take a while. <laughs> By the way, the METAR, uh, the altimeter setting right now is one two one o two one. So let's punch punch that in. 1021 and there we go we're no longer at negative altitude pocket rate set uh the other thing that the citation 10 sorry yeah the citation 10 has is a toga button unfortunately it's not automatic it only does uh well it only helps you with the takeoff it doesn't push the throttle uh forward automatically for you you still do to do that manually like this and the good thing about this is that you can just slam the throttle and it will not go too far. It would not go too far. It wouldn't overload the engine. The airport currently is LTFD, uh, Lima Tango Foxtrot Delta. Let's wait for rotate. Frame rate's dropping. I don't, uh, I'm hitting RAM limits. <laughs> rotate. Gear up. Hand flaps up. Autopilot. Controlled speed. Nice. Yep. Nice takeoff time for us. Uh, Lizy, I see you still on the ground there. Uh, I'm actually in a citation, by the way, so this might, uh, so this might not work very well. Okay, I might have accident on the turn on speed mode, so... What's going on? Uh, okay, I see no weird indications here, but, uh, hi, Lizzie, I see you taking off. Oh, the autopilot's off. By the way, we're going back, we're going back to manage speed now, so we're good. Oh, the autopilot just turned off. Okay, Ar Arish is coming in with the call sign AARCD3. I'm in MP server 21 at the moment, although the server you join should not matter. They should all bridge together. In a way, we are now going to turn towards the last departure point, and after that, we'll be go to the Douglas waypoint. <laughs> it's just a little bit of a roundabout way, but that's our flight plan. So, anyway, something that needs to happen for the whole automatic thing to happen is that uh, where is the? There we go. We need to tune the radio. Uh, I see you, Arush. There we go. Unfortunately, the plane is underway, so it's it will be really hard to wait. I uh, this plane can go in a holding pattern, but I don't know how to do that. The airport I'm going to is LTBJ. That's Lima Tango Bravo Juliet. Yeah, it went way too fast there. Uh, we could maybe do a, like a fly around party on there if we had enough speed. Uh, sorry, <laughs> that, that's not sense. Anyway, uh, nav radios. We're going to change this one over to 108.5, and, and the heading is 161, although I don't think we need to set that. Uh, whoops. Uh, so it's, what, 108.5. And swap. Alright, so now what's going to happen is that uh, as we reach uh, as we reach the iOS points, it will automatically transition over to the iOS. We're actually it actually decided to skip Douglas at that point at this point. That's fun. Yeah, so once it once it got to the correct point, it will automatically 
hold up. <laughs> oh my god, this is why I usually do altitude holds. Uh, out mode. And we're going to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Turns out, yeah. Uh, whoops, I think Flight Gear cra just crashed somewhat. Right, so I'm going to go to do FLCH. And uh, I'm going to use the wheel to adjust the speed up to 250, which is about where it should be. And it wouldn't let me... <laughs> yeah, the cloud textures are pretty nice. Yeah, unfortunately I had to do this. Uh, this is actually the first time I ran across a VNAV bug in a citation. Usually it actually works flawlessly. Did we just did we just skip Dugla right away? I think there's a bug, peeps. <laughs> anyway, there's a new top of descent uh, at the top of Burgo there. TBO5, uh, the multiplayer dialogue just quit, so. Yeah, the multiplayer dialogue just quit. No shit. Uh, my settings are actually almost up up to high, which is why the frame rate is struggling so much, partly. But yeah, it's not limited by that by any means. Yeah, one thing that one thing that's actually pretty easy about the citation autopilot is that you don't get. Okay, the good news about the uh, A three twenty autopilot is that. You know what each, uh, probably. I just realized that there are these extra dials that I probably meant to use, but yeah. Uh, um, what I was original about to say is that uh, most buttons are rather self-explanatory. You have you, you have VNAV mode. For example, if you want to turn from manage, manage heading mode to actual heading mode, this is manage heading mode and this is actual heading mode. You don't have to like randomly guess to push down on the button like on the A320, and that was good. And uh, that also gave me a little bit of trouble back when I was trying it. Uh, I think my COM one caught something. Let me just try to find a M2 frequency. There we go. Where are you? I am currently uh, between Dukla and Virgo. Somewhere. Uh, yeah, this is pretty nice. First, I'll show you the four dimensional pylons and power lines. Yeah. If you're limited on some of that, yeah, Shader 4 is a way better investment than the pylons. I can have both on, I have tested, and as long as. No, uh, no too many things run at the same time, I'll be good. We're actually allowed to go up to like 330 here <laughs> until we're going to hit t TOD. We're actually back on VNAV, so we'll see if the plane knows how to do TOD properly. If it's, if it's, pylon things are quite heavy on things like, yep, on things like your polygons. Oh, there we go. The tra uh, the plane is now down. Knows how to do TOD. That means that the plane should be able to handle this by itself. Well, we just went through a frame rate tranking period. Okay, we're going to be here for a few minutes. You stuff. You unfortunately the pilot list. 
I just realized that I crashed into a mountain. <laughs> Whoops. That's why there's like a minimum safe altitude thingies on charts. You don't want to run into mountains. And there we go, we started our descent. Uh, this wing is going to descend in time for four, four, crossing 440 at the correct waypoint. And because we're in managed, it will automatically go uh, over as well. Uh, yes, Pape, uh, this is the citation 10 from the patent site. SFJ has on radar 20 nautical miles away from TBO5. So, so uh, very comes the pilot list. Let's see. I could turn on TCAS here, but that would probably tank the frame rate even harder, so I'm not doing that. I'm just going to use this instead. Hi, Lizzy! <laughs> now, most people seem to be north of me, probably catching up. And uh, very pretty safe behind me, so we're good. I'll need to vacate the runway quickly here. <laughs> in this case. Oh, we're back in frame rate tank land again. I, you know, if I, if I had preparation, usually I would like restart my machine or something like that to try to reduce the frame rate tanking. But yeah, no time for that today. <laughs> Actually, let me try to do something. As yes, I will escort you into your destination. Please tell your actual speed. My speed is currently two hundred. Uh, Iris said I should open the MP chat. They yeah, probably missed a few messages there. Uh, are, are you TB05? I found you were IARCD. Copy approaching HFSA, so another 5 nautical five miles. And, I, and you're an F shift <laughs> F16! I didn't send my squad group to 7500. What the What are you doing? <laughs> Let's see, What what is my squad code, by the way? In frame rate tank land now. Okay. At, at least it's not. At least it's not accidentally seven seven zero zero. That would have been not good. Anyway, where are you, TB? You are to the north. Hello, ARCD. Yeah, I thought you were ARCD Irish. <laughs> 205, you're in sight. Uh, negative contact to UTB05.
Uh, that's not good. Oh god, that's not good. Because this actually means I cannot control the plane. Uh, is it a good idea to make a channel of a full flight? Maybe. Uh, let's just say that I have no interest in that right now because of, I don't have much time. Okay, I'm just going to maybe close out of this to try to get back control. There we go. Uh, hello, P67. Anyway, now that I get, got, finally got that message sent, let me bring up the pilot list again. If I can. Uh, lots of pilot lists. Okay, fine. You're now heading to RTBJ? Yes, I'm pretty close to RTBJ right now. Should be somewhere over in there. Ah, there comes the pilot list. Uh, do you reserve 5? It's SFGS. I'm right behind you. There we go! <laughs> Positive visual contact with external camera. Hello! P667, I see you in Citation 10. Now we're just landing in a moment with this uh, <laughs> F16 intercepting me. Uh, frame rate tank landing again, oh my god. Uh, Dora, can you finally show the displays of the nav display features? Uh, maybe later, right? Uh, right now, I'll, I'll, I'll be entering the landing phase net soon, but that's going to be really heavy. Okay, let me switch to the stream. I, it sh I should be approaching the approach now. Yep, that's all Project 3000 is. Anyway, uh, this display is also pretty complex, but uh, I don't I don't have the... I, I don't currently understand these enough to do a full tour of them. But needless to say that the, these, uh, these buttons actually work to an extent. And as you can see, uh, we're actually approaching the we're actually approaching this right on track, so and very far away. Yup, twenty eight miles. That's going to take a while. Lost contact. Be advised. Really. Anyway, now we should be right line up a runway. And we should be transitioning to ILS as long as as soon as we hit the last checkpoint, unless we we can transition normally, manually. The airport should be around uh, should be around here. I can't spot it at the moment. It seems to be this thing, but well. Since I'm flying this thing, this is not gonna be good. Yeah. I think it just got hit something too. Okay, I I'm going to be pretty busy from this point onwards, so I'll guide you through the display after landing. And after the frame rate drops. 45 nanical miles.
Alright, we're now waiting for the guy to capture now. There's a runway. We're approaching this left rectangle here. Oh, now we can we're on the glide slope now. Nice. Oh, okay, that's probably a marker. Are we farting up? Yes. Okay, we're still in man of speed. Uh, I think that's a gear down alarm. Actually. I usually drop the gear pretty late because I don't want to add drag. But yeah, that's actually a gear alarm. The do, 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 is the please put your gear down alarm. Anyway, we should be pretty good. So we're good for a few seconds. Hello. Uh, what is that? Auto marker. Nice and stable approach. It's it's on autopilot. You can't thank me. <laughs> But I did execute a fairly nice approach on the A320 this morning. It's actually uh, a crosswind approach, that one. So, that was a surprise. This one should be crosswind too, but uh, looking from the angle, it doesn't seem to be too much. Okay, we just uh, exited the outer marker. F16 is still there. Frame rate is completely tanked. Oh my god. And I'll have to transition to uh, manual flight pretty soon. Oh my god, I'm probably breaking. Oh my god, I'm probably not going to exit this anytime soon, don't we? Here we go. Racket 11. Okay, prepare for a control. We're all nice and good. See the F-16 down there, I'll probably have to exit on the far end and taxi onto the middle. 500, prepare to capture. Oh wow, you're really far off the runway there, plane. Okay. Waiting for the autopilot to cut off now. There we go. Not sure what it's screaming too low about actually. Anyway, slow down, pitch up. We're actually pretty high. There we go. Floaty as heck, there we go. Uh, overload the engine there. Anyway, there's an airliner there. I'm not sure if that's from AI or the actual plane. Anyway, we're cutting that off now. Gosh, probably the most satisfying things to watch, huh? <laughs> Hi, GoSX. Uh, nice to see that you're doing a pretty good job of tracking me back there. Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys about the runway vacation. But I'm going to vacate the uh, this if it lets me. Oh, there's a tower there. I probably need to keep going on a while. Oh my god. Turn off. I got Mario Three S. True. Uh, it's it's probably going to be, uh, it's probably will help me too because I'm right now in CPU limited. Lightning 16 now. Oh uh, yeah, that's an expedite vacate for me. <laughs> Glad I could catch you. Thank you're welcome.
right? We're now on free fall right. They're doing 16 now, which is the same one that I did. And it turns out that uh, I always like shoot for the and I didn't, so I didn't realize that the middle actually has that tower blocking it. Coming in, I wonder where Slight reveals him true. Uh, he said that he was busy with studies at the moment. And I guess that's valid. Studies are important, peeps. I would say this is a <laughs> plug <laughs> plug time. T wherever this is. Sorry, sorry for yearning my stream. <laughs> Lol. Anyway, uh, side person landing there. Uh, just send an empty message. List. By the way, in case you guys didn't know, I I'm just going to stop here because there's no parking spot in this airport. Uh, there's actually a proper shutdown procedure for a Citation 10, which involves clicking these two to cut off the engines. Uh, also, <laughs> I'm technically I technically have to like start the APU and connect an external power box, but it's fine. External power and gear chokes. We need to connect that. And shut off the ignitions on both sides. And last things last, drop the door. It's a business jet. And a project for us, if you haven't got 3D buildings, I think they are some in the airport area. Yep. Oh, it shared my mod. <laughs> anyway, you're inverted. That is a, that can't be good. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, this is a YA sim plane. So after that, you will actually have to <laughs> restart the sim. Uh, let's see, the seven seven seven. See how it's doing. Seems to be well. I'm going to pull the camera back out. Okay, this is this is why you don't want to use this. There we go. And I think he's in, doing an approach as well, or just somewhere pretty clear, close. Lies E fourteen is uh, as a C seven one seven two P at four thousand feet. He's in a black void for some reason. I'm not sure. Okay, and TV O five parked right next to me. Alright, let's see uh, if we can see peeps here. We can turn off that. Turn on traffic. This guy just crashed in the middle of the approach path. Low. Whoops. RCD is there. Where is Lizy actually? This is freaking airlines, alright. Yeah, I don't know where Lizy is. There's also another. AI plane is coming on my way. Pull in that one. Oh, and by the way, I, I just I I did just promise the I did just promise another video covering the fat, right? <laughs> uh so let's have a look. So this is actually config this is actually config panel for that. And 
where uh, the cabin mics, these are for the radio, so I don't have no idea what to do that. The DHSI it switches between these two styles, this bigger style, which honestly I might prefer at this point, and this circular style, which I'm more used to. Honestly, I think I prefer this. Or that about the same like PFD weather. This only works if you have some weather options on and it can show the weather in here. It's basically a weather radar. ET. I have no idea what that is. Oh, it's a timer. Yep, it's a timer. Down here. You click it once with a tick up. Uh, TCAS. It's pretty much what you expect. Uh, it displays aircraft near you. And basically you do is TCAS. I think it drops the frame rate even further, so I didn't en enable it at the time of the flight. This is ARCD Front 3, uh, which is not this guy. <laughs> it's actually the 737 that's approaching the runway just now. Middle Tower Lies at 140 Gear 232. Uh, aircraft system. Okay, this switches, actually switches the page over here. We need to turn off TCAS for a moment. Uh, this actually switches the page over here as to see what page you're focusing on. MFD map actually displays a map kind of over here. I'm not sure how global this is because I don't know the area. I might have to test this later on. I'm going to turn that off for now and zoom back in because this got insane. And also my mouse wheel doesn't work so as soon as the frame rate drops, it's going to get insane. Let's try in difficult clicks, actually. Nope, you have to scroll. Hey, 40, close enough. MGWX, uh, same thing, weather radar, and as, is, as, as written here, it, uh, the weather engine must be detailed weather and it must be storm to storm or stormy run day, run day for the weather radar to be on. So we don't need to do that. And also these. Barrow switches the unit over here, it looks like. M out. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Shows altitude in meters, it looks like. So French. Uh, this is the source for the nav display here, FGC, not sure what that is, and there's an error you would test. MFD setup, you can disable, uh, show VORs, airports nearby, fixes nearby, traffic nearby, interesting, got that over here, and a vertical profile, you can actually show a vertical profile under your flight path. Hi Lele, glad to see you here. Again, this is, this is another one that will absolutely eat your frame rate, so I'm turning that off. Keeping traffic on, it does look useful. And back at the main page, ITFT timer. I'm pretty sure this is just this, but I don't, I don't know. ICAST system. Not sure what that is. V speed just displays the V speeds right here if you need a quick reference. It looks like. And as I said, this thing has five pages. And I'm not sure what that button does. I don't think there are more pages actually. And message, I'm not sure if you can. Uh, if there's too many messages here, I guess you could scroll there. ML altimeter in meters. Yeah, I thought I thought so too. There's an N1 and N2 over here, in addition to here. And these are the manual instruments in case something fails. SG, uh, does anybody have any idea how, what SG Rev means? <laughs> anyway, in addition to that, one interesting uh, thing we see about this is that this plane doesn't actually have an overhead panel. The overhead panel just has this like random TV. You can always go around from TV05. <laughs> Not sure who's that is rest to. I think someone probably tried to land. This was scary. <laughs> uh, where are the are showing the panels? Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, there's no overhead. There's actually no overhead panel on the Citation 10. It's all this RAM TV. I'm not sure what you would use this for in your life because uh, in a cockpit, you aren't even supposed to, you know, play, watch music in, light, uh, in flight because you are supposed to be listening to ATC. 
and I very is where the APU panel is, breakers are down here, I'm actually not sure where they are in Airbus. And most of the hardware is actually down here. We've got little lights and anti-ice. Uh, this is probably anti-ice, but yeah, the anti-ice is in here. These are for the hydraulics, uh, pressurization system, and there's a light panels. I, yeah, the, and there's also the light panel here. So yeah, everything is actually down here on the low, lower side between the pilot, co-pilot, and the co-pilot. So there's no overhead panel. <laughs> JK, I'm actually lazy. This channel is fun. I plan to make a full flying content. So many change. My channel name when my plan is ready. Yeah, glad to keep, glad to hear facts. I don't have uh, I don't have time to do this at the moment. So yeah. Uh, Rogan Simmons of San Francisco, R2B J after driving over two runways. <laughs> right. Uh, is there anything else that guys might want to see? Before we end this for today? Where is the... <laughs> oh god, I think I pressed the wrong button there. Whoops. 50 meters, 20, it's more like it. Why is he is at the beginning? <laughs> it's a free 20 time, I guess. I guess, yeah. It's, uh, doesn't it look like LTBJ? We don't. Oh, uh, EFD, it's, we don't see two of them at the same time. Ari is here next to us two. Skinning across your runway. Hi, Ghost Chef. Is this an, is it another act, another out account? Glad to hear. Glad to see you here. So no one approaching or taking off over here. By the way, the stream has actually just ended. Unless you guys want to see something, it's telling me in the chat. All right, this is actually the end of what I have planned for today. Look, what are those two easy easy chat or what whoever that is taxiing. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what they're doing. IRCD one for I can see you. Fly Ogs, whatever that is. Uh, I think this is probably this guy. Please just let fly. PGS, whatever it is, doing weird things on a runway. Can I change planes in game without restoring game? No. Uh, this is an early decision in the way flight gear works. That means that even today you can't even you cannot change planes for under starting. You ca technically can. There is an aircraft center setting here, but I think it's broken right now and it's not guaranteed to work. Yeah, live. This one's live is a lot shorter. It ends a bit shorter than usual. I usually plan for lives to be like around one hour in length. Actually, it's just that I have been blowing. I have been blowing through that every single time. That and you guys probably thought that lives are typically like one and a half hours. <laughs> nope. It's it's plan. It's planned to be one hour as usually. Uh, make sure you set the pilot view. Try to explore WIOO then. Why is PGS Airlines in Thailand? Did you see. <laughs> Casually on growth. Did you see something on Thailand? Because this is not in Thailand, this is somewhere in Europe. Actually, talking about Thailand, uh, there's one last question I would probably want to answer on this stream. I'm going to restart. Uh, I'm going to go over, sorry, as you see, there's a map on the MFD that we might be able to use, and right now it's corrupted, but, let's see, I'm going to spawn in Thailand, where I can actually recognize whatever is going on, 
and we'll see if that map is actually live download and something that is going to be useful. So I'm going to drop off multiplayer for a moment, and probably spend some time to uh, checking out my computer. And I am going to come back in a few moments. Okay, I think I've quite crashed my computer. If I dropped off, please tell me. Oh, we're fine. Good. All right, I'm going to spend a few moments just looking over if there's anything stuck on. There's at least one. Get one extra gig I could get rid of. Not too much actually, it's probably just OBS eating up the majority. Uh, but are you, yes, you're, screening a, you're seeing a black screen right now. <laughs> it's normal, don't be shocked. Right, I have just restarted Flight Gear to uh, spawn a Phuket. I'm not going to turn on MP this time, please don't just move all the way to Phuket for this. But. I'm just going to check if the map functionality works the way I thought it does. And by the way, fun fact, I usually actually trim the time flight gear takes to load in uh, my videos. So you're actually seeing how fast it takes flight gear to start in real time. <laughs> Arish, I'm, I'm I'm spawning at Phuket just to check, uh, just to uh, check if the map functionality works the way I thought it does. That is, it's not just an image. However, I'm not going to turn on MP because we're basically ending right now, and uh, basically I wasn't seeing you doing fun stuff, so I already decided to do this. So sorry, Bear. Oh yeah. <laughs> They actually downloaded the map. This is Pook this is Phuket Island right here. They actually have a map up. Wow. It's interesting. Uh yes, I'm from Thailand. Uh, that's why I actually recognize this because I, I, I spend so much time here. Uh I, I don't actually live here, but uh, it's in this country and I've been flying here a lot so I know the map kind of my heart. <laughs> I'm actually out TVJ after this because Irish wants to do something awesome. I'm going to just exit normally and probably spawn in the UFO, probably because I'm not going to do anything now. So yes, you guys are seeing a black screen right now. I set it to not do anything and not display anything while I'm here. What is airport again? LTBJ. Yeah, Adnan Mendres is the name of this place apparently. And there is no parking spot because of course. Okay, I'm going to spawn it. I'm going to connect to the mod set con uh, the options connect to the multiplayer server because then it will put me off to the side of the runway and I wouldn't hit so many people. Let's do some stunts. <laughs> Irish is putting on a show for us to watch, peeps. Okay, uh, he's got 16 now. I just I I just had it spawn at the active, so I don't know where this is going to be at. I just home up a little bit. Or wait for it to load. Uh, by the way, the other reason I'm doing it UFO is that because I can actually get smooth frame rates. Damn it! Uh, unfortunately, the multiplayer option didn't work. Okay, let's see if the bridge from twenty three works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Cripes. Okay, that's weird. Don't try Inspirit, otherwise you explode your laptop. Okay, if you see the mo in FES indicator here, you see that uh, in other planes, uh, my laptop can actually handle these just fine. It's just that heavier planes like the Citation 10 and A320, uh, it just can't do. But a server twenty three is definitely out, so let's try. Let's try some of these randomly. 
until we get some people filling in. Okay, we're in. Uh, we see VOV667 and ARCD. Unfortunately, the pilot list. Oh, there we go. Irish, where are. Uh, I don't see you. Oh, wait, I actually see you, but you dropped off the pilot list. By the way, I'm on the F16, which actually is actually doing something here. Uh, let's see if. Uh, someone spawned in a twin otter on the runway, so we'll switch back to here. Uh, by the way, Arsh, I don't see you on the MP list, so maybe it just failed to sink over, but I don't know. Gear retracting. Interesting performance display of the X16. <laughs> Um, uh, right now, oh yeah, I've been switching around rod. Right now I'm in server 20, but as I said, it should sync over. Oh, and I see you now. You probably just switch over here just for, here to be here, didn't you? I found you as a UFO. Yes, I spawned in the UFO because it allows me to really up the frame rate. <laughs> as you can see, I get a solid 30 uh, here with the UFO, but I couldn't use the Citation 10. Uh, P667 is neck on a queue taking off. Land again, let's take off. Uh... Uh, go, uh, ghost ship. Sometimes this is a problem in multiplayer where some call signs don't come over. I have no idea why, but yeah, that happens sometimes. P six seven. I see some activity. Let's see what he's doing. Uh, <laughs> then again, let's take off at the same time. Uh, I'm not sure if you're talking about uh, this or some other person. I think a twin armor model just updated. What did it update is a door. <laughs> Lot that that would have hurt. Actually for funsies, uh where is PPC six six seven by the way? Where are you? Uh, Arish, I have, if you're talking if you're trying to talk to me, I am the UFO floating over one of the runways. What's up with your twin otter? Then it's gonna go over there and try intercepting for fun these. This formation flying, uh, kind of like that. Mm. I've not done this before, so I'm just going to do it somewhere randomly. T Resort 5, I think I see you trying to buzz me there. <laughs> Yeah, the UFO is kind of cheating because you can just switch speeds very quickly and also turn very quickly. <laughs> Unless you have people pulling stunts like that, maybe maybe it's just really hard to keep up. The models switch a lot, probably because of the lot settings that I'm basically is uh, just flouting right now. Uh, way too close there. 
Ah, uh, whoops. <laughs> Are you in turbulence? <laughs> Uh, what are you doing? I lost ya. Okay. He, out <laughs> he crashed, okay. <laughs> Rip! Okay. Okay, that's a bug that I'm annoyed at. Rip. Anyway, let's see if there's some other people they could tag along with. What if like it has a crap A380 and why would it want to make it unless this has been finished? No idea. <laughs> I mean, uh, flying here is all about people doing their own, their own stuff. And sometimes if you just don't have the motivation or whatever to get uh, things finished in the highest quality, it's some, sometimes it takes a lot of skill and time actually oh yeah you guys are probably on the runway uh the f6 there's the f16 somewhere around uh, at least my i see my citation 10 let's see if it can buzz you yep bearing 160 at 421 feet probably on the ground let's see if it can buzz you no, no. I, I'm, I'm at. I'm still at LTBJ. Six one. Whoops. Ah, I think I see you. In a marker. <laughs> There we go, some nice camera work. But it doesn't seem to be too much happening here, though. Right, so after that little experiment, uh, shall we call it off for today? It's floating. <laughs> it's a low resolution model, of course it's floating. Let's see that is a high res one. I, I set the loading distance for the high res models to be pretty short, so I have to basically stop right in front of him to see it. He's oh my god, he's taking off, okay. Uh, I'm losing him. Uh whoops! Okay, I'm going to wait for him to pass me, then it should be a little bit easier. Follow me. Yup. I'm waiting for you to... Oh my god, okay. Uh, he went really far away. A free non is way faster than citation eggs in normal conditions, so I should you should take... And I slow down. What are you doing, Irish? Are uh, you? Yep, you're right there. Is there a ring? I'm gonna start for 20. The ELT is still ringing! Uh, Irish, what are you doing? Are you trying to make a loop the loop? Because I can't follow you through the loop the loop. <laughs> I lost ya. Anyway, I'm just going to plop this here and just teleport up to him and see what he did. Uh, lower res model should actually load pretty soon. Should. I'm not sure about this. Yeah, I didn't see you through the cobra sprint there. Let's go back to myself and catch up. Uh, what's bearing again? Two, six, four. You speed up. 
Yes, a loop. Didn't expect it, Baron. I tried to follow through. <laughs> Whoops. He is a few miles. Start out. Yeah, loops in a citation tent are not the easiest thing in the world. You have to be fairly careful. Are you trying to do a loop again? But it didn't crash. Nice. Are you like below me or something? Okay, you were ahead of me. Let's hit the speed up. 37. Okay, I'll have to be a little bit faster. And you're at 4,000, so I'll need to go up parallel. Okay, you're at a bearing of 48, no, 57. Uh, negative visual contact with you, actually. Where the hell are you? <laughs> this trolling. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Where can I download them lightly? Uh, one place you can do that if it's the uh, site is if like your download site. Enter my viewpoint. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop this for a moment and go. I should have used the that there. Hey, uh, Lola says, do you have a social, any social media account? Um, I do, but I prefer to keep it separate, keep everything separate so I don't get like people spamming me like your questions on social media where I do other things, so. I will say though that I have a Discord and multiple people have already found it and correlated. And from that point, it should be pretty easy. But as I said, please don't spam, uh, please don't send me flight gear requests on other channels that are not Discord unless I specifically ask you to. I don't give them that for a reason. It's a pretty low thing there. Yep, trying another loop. <laughs> hey, I think you. Uh, I think that's even an aerolon roll, barrel roll there. Nice. So let's t try flyby view and see if we can reduce what it is. Uh, nope, it's not. It's too difficult. Now we just go out of view really fast. That looks like a success to me. <laughs> nice. Yay, yeah, you completed a loop. <laughs> actually, in the early days, I actually have a video of me pulling a loop in the cita in this exact citation. I I actually had to oh, I actually had to have a go into overspeed, and then start the loop because otherwise it wouldn't go through.
And if, but if you manage to pull it off without overspeeding at any point during the loop, then congrats. <laughs> I am overspeed. Uh, yeah. I have I have done the calculations because I, I can't do them, but yeah. Uh, as far as uh, back then when I have tested, it's not it's quite difficult to go into a loop in a citation ten without overspeeding it at some point. Are you sure you're trying to land on the motorway? Second try. Oh, through through string something. F F seventeen still flying around. Let's see what Arish is up to. Uh, if we download the flight lightly, do we need to delete the original flight gear? Uh, no. It's just like any other flight gear update. I see Arish doing a bunch of stunts in this thing here. Talk on the lily. Let me switch to Shades Vivi y'all. Uh, yeah, I was a bit busy, but that looks nice. Why is it a complete loop? It's looking for the replay right now. Probably, it's either uh, it's either a complete loop or it pulled or a successful pullout. TV zero five is spawning in with a vegan and drop out. <laughs> Oops. This citation moved better than my F-16. <laughs> yeah, uh... There, there, there is also no, like, normal law, alternate law thing on the Citation 10, at least in Flight Gear, so... You can just pull all, ki all kinds of things and it will just do it. You see, all, you, you see that I, I often just put my, the Citation 10 through a lot of abuse in the canyon because it's just fun like that. It's right at the limit, and it doesn't try to stop you from doing it. Oh, so the model will load if it is present. So yeah, the model doesn't load properly. I think I, I think I could tell by the front of this brackets here, which means that it didn't recognize whatever is going on, and was using the lower res models.
still can't get in the server. Yeah, as I uh, yeah as I said, uh, any server should I repeat should work, and they should all bridge together. However, <laughs> oh my god, uh, like, uh, yeah, at this point you're probably going to have problems with some bug reports. Actually, for the files and unlikely, I will have to go check which kind of things they're in there. But at least you actually uh, see which of those uh, which of those directories is for the unlikely, which is a good first step. Uh... Oh, okay. I think I figured it out now. I'm I'm not sure what the difference is between two two o two o dot four dot zero and the latest. But uh, I, I I will say that the full.exe is for Windows, full.dmg is for Mac, and the app image is for Linux. You don't want to download the exes and dmgs without full because that doesn't have the data file. Otherwise, if you know how to download the data files from like GitHub or something like that. You can just download the data files from there and just download the exe without full from the download website. It saves bandwidth on your side too, but it's a little bit harder this way. So if you're just used to the, if you want to use the installer that it works a lot like the one in the releases, well, that's the one you should use, the full one, because it has the data files built in. It's a pretty large download if you want to download it a lot of times though. Yeah, uh, Joe, it's nice to see you doing a loop the loop in the begin. You should, you should have changed views. Uh, this one has uh, that old view has trouble tracking things through loop the loops. Where are you? Hello, Cristiano. Planning. Oof, a <laughs> Yeah, lo lo yeah, lucky you didn't black out there. CD wants to meet other people at the airport. Okay. 
Okay. Let me go very hard on this. Okay, I might, I might join back to, for, for kicks and giggles. Okay, let me switch to v, to v self. Turn over and go. For well, probably the finals for the stream, if we want one. Deep stall. <laughs> Uh, whoops, that drop doesn't look nice. Uh, dead. One for three, yeah, you hit a mountain, I think. <laughs> Deep stall is dangerous. Hmm. Communication to silence from P six six seven. Oh, you probably you probably change with that, isn't it? That's a that's a nice startup message. Can I add to LTBJ? I should be at LTBJ as well, if my memory is correct. Okay, P six six seven. Which heading are you at? North. Okay. Let's join him in on the side of runway as a UFO because I I don't want to restart right now. Uh, <laughs> looks like it couldn't find the model for the C208B. Someone is zip through. Oh, hey, Bear. Yep. Ready to row. Uh, this person spawned in its water behind, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's kick, off, uh, let's kick off the ending of this live stream with something shiny. One, which is the citation ten, which is approaching the runway. We're still waiting on him. On oh, no, LS, uh, our shoe might want to. You're landing on one eight, and I am on one six. So you might want to land a bit long. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I'm glitch. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know there. Oh, what was the thing? Anyway, it does look like this thing is... <laughs> what just happened with the vegan? Oh, he's out. Well, let's, not, let's not wait and get, get going. Whoops. <laughs> Start in the air. Vegan glitch upward. in the air. Uh, I think it's that's C2128208B, isn't it? That's the one in front here. What the heck is going on with you? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to keep altitude. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, I guess you can see stream probably because I was working for my secret plan. <laughs> what secret plan? I'm not sure why, but the 208B's model actually shows your flaps being down. <laughs> we may not have time. That's okay. Someone is shooting in there. Is it a landing or probably just a pass by? Yeah, probably it's just a nice little landing on free four from one egg. <laughs> Skipping lots of the legs of the traffic pan. Right, so I'm just going to hover here and vacate. And that will be. <laughs> That's a really. I didn't know if the big end had crash simulation. <laughs> Wow, the F just. Yeah. Right, so I'm just going to vacate, uh, park the UFO somewhere nice. And <laughs> nothing happened. Uh, nothing happened. Repeat it with me. Nothing happened. No one can convince you otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't remember how the quote, quote was. I was it reference some kind of... Take him to the infirmary kind of thing. <laughs> Right, so let's park the UFO here, and that's going to be it for today, guys. <laughs> um, so at first I was about to end in one hour, and you guys stretch it to one hour and forty minutes, the usual length. <laughs> Good job. It it was entertaining watch, and it's entertaining watching all the maneuvers you're pulling with the F sixteen and the citation and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to see you in two weeks. Uh. And I'm honestly not sure what the next weeks will be, uh, whether I can get out a video or it will be a live stream for right now. Honestly, I also have to pull for ideas. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see you again next time. Have a nice flight. <laughs>